Hello, my name is Connor James George Haynes and I'm here for the audition for UCW, Universal Central Western, and I have applied for your Performing Arts BA Homs course. So a little bit about myself, um, I like, I started my like acting or getting in the grips with a little seed of acting when I was roughly four years old. I just did a little few of like little plays uh, as you do as a kid as you do that in the nativity and everything every year. Uh, and we'd also, when I grew up, I did a bit of pantomimes and then it realised when that's what I like to, like to do. It's what I was quite good at and I enjoyed it very, very much. And a lot of people enjoyed what I was uh, showing and producing my own content. So I started there and I now here I am, performed in the West End and made my own, directed my own shows in college and performed them as well. So it, I have grown very, very much. Uh, there was a point in my life where I had dyslexia, I still do. I have dyslexia and it really threw down my confidence of doing um, acting because I thought it wasn't, it was a hurdle of my life. So, and now I just jump over it and I've expressed my more emotions through my speech and my uh, body and my, you know, acting than writing stuff down. So it's helped you much, really, a lot, really, to be honest. So why I would like to uh, study your course at your, your university, um, what I found really, really interesting about your course that you focus more on the devising type uh, industry. So you've had like a few courses and modules that are independent and devising, which I'm all looking for because what I'd like to do in the future and take um, your knowledge to the real world is like to make my own uh, group or my own shows and bring true events into what we have and show them in theatre because that's what helped me through the years. My theatre taught me everything like mental health, sexuality, racism. It's Theatre is a really good educational stance that we should focus on more so by you doing more de dividing and independent work that would help me muchly through what i'd like to do and my last question is what i'd like to do in the future is again as i said would like to get a group of people and make a group and devising and creating theatre plays into true events so example the coronavirus add that in and the vaccines and much more things that might come through the press and just take that and make something out of that and show the world through theatre so what i'm performing you here today is a a monologue from electricity it's it's quite interesting for me because um it had a bit of personal bit in that. So it's about a character that has a heart attack and uh, the friends around it connect to it a bit as well. So throughout the play, it's like they're a bit suspicious of, oh, what happened? Did it was our fault, you know? And this character that I have called Gus, uh, he's pretty of a, a scare freak. He's a hydrochondriac. He's he's just scared of everything and he's trying to convince his doctor that he has something wrong with his heart and actually throughout the play so roughly near the end that you find out that is there is something wrong with him bless his heart there is actually he has a heart defeat as well so yeah so here i here i go but the the another thing that i quite find very interesting with in this monologue that is is being connected to different dialogues throughout the play so Throughout this, it's actually dialogues that he's talking to other people, but it's been all into squished into one monologue. So here we go. <sighs> sweaty. Really, really sweaty. I'm so sweaty and I think I'm dying. Not dying time, but definitely dying. I don't think I'm working. Do you? Do you think I'm working? Working healthy? Normal? I don't feel normal. Can you help me? Can you help me make me feel normal? I think there's something really, really wrong with me. Not wrong, not wrong, but 
not working. I don't think I'm working. In this area, something's a bit not working. This is your heart. Every day, it beats a hundred thousand times, sending 2,000 gallons of blood, surging through 7,000 trillion cells in your body. That does all that. That's terrifying. Have you ever noticed when someone starts to talk about the heart, you start to feel it. When someone's talking about the blood pumping through your veins, putting pressure on your artery walls and blood cells surging to the ends of your fingertips. You sort of feel it. But you kind of feel it in the centre and you become aware of your heartbeat. No? Oh. I have. No, I can't really explain it, but I can feel fucking everything. That does all that. That is terrifying. I was born with a heart defeat, a bicuspid aortic valve, and well, I was over before I even began. Doctors, they gave me six weeks until my heart was shut up shop. And I would have been on another depressing story. But 19 years, 19 years in and out uh, revolving doors of self earning hospital. I'm here. I'm standing. I'm working, just waiting for that flat line. But, you know, I do spend quite a lot of time on the internet. WebMD, NHS Direct, patient.co.uk. They're things that can help and keep your heart working. Dark chocolate every day, quitting smoking, avoiding stressful situations, having mind vacations, Having sex. Yeah. I spend quite a lot of time on the internet. There we go. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy.